What's up, YouTube? So down in the garden, all the way far left, I found this little watermelon. What kind is it? I have no clue. Now, you may see these couple of holes in it. Um, that's from some uh, bugs that eat into watermelon rinds. And actually, I'll show another one that they ate into. They ate into a crimson sweet that's set for See how, how much that bed has been dog the Congo bed. Okay. So as I said before, um when um once the uh fruits on my watermelon vines set, once they set and fully mature, the uh blight sets in and those vines die out and new vines come in. I've noticed that for literally every variety I have. But what I was going to show for for this uh, brief moment was um, this crimson sweet here that's been eaten into. Yeah. Snap that off the vine there. So um, it's these little orange bugs where they're orange. When they're immature, they turn to some big black things. Uh, I have to find I have to find it to uh, show you exactly what I mean. I don't know the name to those bugs, but they, they eat into these watermelon rinds. And now I know I know that for sure now. I used to always see them on my watermelons, but I was never able to tell. Look. Oh, here's another one of those green things. What is this? Uh, if anybody knows what kind of watermelon this is, please let me know. Because I keep finding them in this garden over here. And I don't remember planting anything that should look anywhere. this will look like Let's see if I can see any more so I found two of them I wouldn't be surprised if there's another one in there and I actually do see another another right there uh, it's a shiny little figure in the middle of the screen the shiny thing there's another right there uh, I'll go check that out later I'll actually want to cut open one of these guys to see step into it so i actually want to cut open one of these guys to see what it is and see if it's red on the inside it is right because the vine was died out i was actually watching it as it was growing and it only grew to this little miniature size here and as i said before my crimson sweet vine set uh set five fruits already and they're still so this is a crimson sweet uh female flower right here and you can see how round it is and they're still uh flowering and setting fruit guys so I'm getting a second harvest from my crimson sweets. Now I lost this one to insects, but I'm gonna start shaking those little bugs off the off the vines. I'm gonna go check out the other, other garden. Go check out the other, other garden there. See if I can see those bugs that I'm talking about. So I see them on every watermelon that grows. Here's my Congo. Um, possum try to get at it. See all the scratch marks all over it, all these little white marks. It's all scratch marks from the animal trying to get in there. Got my little setup right there. Keep the sunlight off the Congo so I can eat it fresh out the field. Right. No, I don't see the bugs. Here goes, here goes an adult. Let's see, you can look on the foliage right here. Here's an adult, an adult of what uh, causes those holes in my watermelons. So, and then when they're young, they're a little orange, they have orange bodies and they travel in groups. Here's another adult on my pepper. So those are those are what's causing these holes. Um, I, I think it's more so the immature ones that's causing the holes. And as I said, they travel in groups. It's normally about 20 to 40 of them. Um, little orange things, and they get just they just sit. You can't tell that they're chewing. So we're gonna cut this little guy open. Because I obviously have a plant that is producing. This melon, I just don't know what plant is doing it. 
It could be uh, some seeds that I had were, were uh, crossbreeds. And if I have crossbreeds, I would like to know, you know, before planting them, because I am buying my seeds in packets. So I, I would like my seeds to come as they, as they should come. Now, it feels light for its size. Let's give it a wipe here. Oh, it have a kind of a creamy yellow bottom on it. And there's a lot of these bump things all over it. These bumps. It was all over the melon when it first started forming. So, chop down the middle. I do not know what this is. Uh, it's obviously a watermelon. <laughs> that's that's the obvious fact. It's a watermelon. It's immature also because the seeds are still white. So I don't know, guys. The outside. That's the inside. Uh, pretty to look at to say the least. The flesh is spongy on the inside. It's definitely spongy. And it smells like sweet. It smells like a sweet rind. Like so it smells like a uh, a watermelon rind that may taste sweet. If that makes any sense. Yeah. If this was mature, I would actually give it a try because of the sweet smell coming from it. All right, guys, so that's my update for today. I had this random little melon. Um, I have a crimson sweet that, as I said, I had the five crimson sweets that already were previously harvested. And I have one crimson sweet inside that I didn't catch me harvesting on video that I will cut open maybe later today or tomorrow. I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether I want to eat the Congo or the crimson sweet. Uh, yeah, but so I, I, I basically got six crimson sweets from those plants. Um, if those insects hadn't eaten the one, if those insects had, uh, my screen has water on it, I can't zoom. So I was going to zoom in on the garden bed and it was going to say if those insects hadn't eaten the one that we uh, just looked at, the crimson sweet, uh, that would have been seven from those uh, plants. So I am getting a second flush of harvest from my fruits. So I, I I wouldn't recommend pulling up your vines, but if you know if if, if you have the space, I, I would I would recommend actually leaving your vines in the ground until the cold actually comes and kills them off. Because my Congo is also I didn't show it, but my Congo is also producing new vines and it also has new female flowers on it uh, today, which means I will have more Congo watermelons. And that Congo watermelon plant over there had seven melons coming from one uh, plant. So coming from, from, from one seed I planted, seven Congo melons were on there, guys. That's my update for today. I ended with a shot of these one-year-old, well, they're not even one years old, uh, seven-month-old, six to seven-month-old blueberry plants. Yep. They grew that tall in about six to seven months. Uh, I'd say this is about five foot three to five foot four. Thank you. Have a good one.